Hey, it's Ryan from Modular Axe. Uh, it is Sunday. Uh, it's actually the beginning of September. It's a beautiful day out here. Uh, I'm going to get one last road trip in before the weather starts to change and things get really cold. Uh, so I'm going to head to Alberta and see what else we can find along the way. Hoping to make it to at least Revelstoke, maybe Lake Louise or Banff this evening. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. I got some new product that I want to put to the test in the real world. Okay, well, that's it. I've been driving uh, well since I managed to get out this morning. I did make it to Revelstoke. Um, didn't make it to the lake I was planning to. It had some people at it, so I continued up a gravel road, and I did find a pretty nice place here. Nice view, anyways. Perfect to set up camp for the night. We'll open this thing up, make some dinner. Now that we have camp set up, and before I make dinner, I'm super excited about testing this brand new product in the real world, the Geyser Shower System. This is a compact, lightweight, super water efficient shower system that I'm gonna be using to create hot water and clean my dishes at camp tonight. So let's get to setting this thing up. Okay, so it is 7.49. Two liters of water in the Geyser, drawing 105 watts. Let's see how long this thing takes to heat up to 100 Fahrenheit. I'm going to start making dinner. We'll check back in. A real quick update here. Uh, I've put the EcoFlow back in its home. Uh, the geyser is working away. And I have dinner on, making myself some beef and broccoli. Got some rice. Just sauteing up with the broccoli. Got a little beef. We're going to mix it all up with some teriyaki. So I'm not going to have a ton of dishes to do. But a uh, quick check-in is that this guy is at, uh, what are we at, 810. So we've been about 20 minutes. Uh, it hasn't, light hasn't gone off yet. It's not saying that it's ready. Um, and our EcoFlow is at 95, 96%. So I've used 2% of my 1200 watt EcoFlow. Uh, so I'll continue cooking dinner here. I suspect this thing in the next 10 minutes. It's gonna say it's at 100 Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll eat some dinner, and we'll give this thing a go. I'm excited. Okay, final check-in before I have dinner. Uh, we are still not heated, but it is very cold out here. It's very windy. I should turn my stove around because I could not get a sear going on my beef and broccoli. Uh, I think that might be affecting how long it's taking for this guy to heat up as well. We are at the 35 minute mark. Uh, it is still drawing 104 watts. I am cheating a little bit. I've been charging my phone and my GoPro uh, battery on there. Uh, but I suspect that this thing will be done soon. My dinner is just about ready. And then when I've done that, I'll check back in. But you know how long it took for this thing to heat up. That's the geyser. And uh, we'll do some quick dishes. We'll see what it's all about. Okay. Um, the geyser literally just turned off uh, and I literally had just finished eating my dinner and thought it's pretty cold out here. I want to go to bed. Maybe it's time to just do the dishes and see what temperature is at. And uh, no sooner did I think that and it turned off. It is 840 so that took about 40 some odd minutes to heat up. Uh, you can also boil water if you have a jet boil or a camp stove and just pour it in there to make this much quicker. Um, but considering I could hardly get a saute going with a little bit of water in the wind and cold that we have right now, I think it would take me a long time to boil two liters worth of water. Uh, and not even boil, just get nice and hot to clean with. So um, yeah, we're good to go. I finished up. Um, let's get some dishes cleaned up. Don't have a lot. Um, and I'm not sure if I should be wiping these down with like a paper towel. That's normally what I would do while I'm camping. I might just give this a go. I want to see what happens if I don't use any paper towel. Uh, some soap and some water and see what happens. So let's get on it. It's a dishes time.
Okay, so we have done all of our dishes. We've done our plate, we've done our cutting board, we've done our baked on teriyaki gooey pan, we've done our pot and our utensils. Um, this thing took about 40 minutes to heat two liters of water. Uh, so that works out at 105 watts uh, of draw to about 75 watts of power consumption to heat that water. Um, how much water do we use? Well, what do you think? Let's have a peek. Let's open this thing up. Have a look in. It's almost empty actually. Don't know if you can see in there. Uh, so it took us basically two meters of water to clean all of these dishes. But it's warm water, my hands are warm, those dishes are clean. That thing would have been very difficult to clean um, had I not had some nice warm water. Uh, works pretty dang well. And uh, that sponge I'm gonna pop off of there and you can use it uh, the next time. Basically I'll put it in with my kitchen supplies. So that is my first use with the geyser shower and in this con uh, configuration, let's say, the, uh, the dishwasher. Um, if you've got any questions about this product, um, something you'd like to test, something I didn't answer you'd like to know, make a comment below. And um, hey, in the future, I'll be reviewing other products. So if you're interested in anything like this, please smash that like button, follow us, and uh, the next time we're reviewing a product, you'll get notification. By the way, all of this stuff is for sale on the Modular Racks website, modularracks.com, and for orders over $2.99, we ship for free to just about anywhere in North America. So again, uh, this is my test. This is Ryan signing off. I'm gonna get to bed. I'm gonna plug my heated blanket into that EcoFlow, crawl up into the Roof Nest Falcon Pro. Hope we have a nice, warm, comfortable sleep on the side of the mountain here in Revelstoke, BC. And tomorrow, it's off to Calgary, Alberta. <laughs>